Hello guys, I'm back. Today I will share with you my answer to the following question. Is it possible to, to calculate the upstream pressure of a valve in the Aspen High Seas? My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. So this question come, came from my YouTube channel. So the question is... I want to know if it's possible to calculate the upstream pressure on a valve in high seas. I have the upstream temperature, downstream pressure, and downstream, and downstream temperature. What to know how can I do that? So, first of thing, we must understand what is happening to be able to find the answer. When we add a valve in the Aspen High Seas and we have a depressurization, a differential pressure or pressure drop in the valve, the Aspen High Seas will perform an isentalpy calculation. So it means that the, uh, the enthalpy in the inlet is equal to the enthalpy at the outlet. And based on that, it's possible to do the calculations of uh, upstream pressure if you have the Components composition of stream composition if you have downstream temperature, downstream pressure, and upstream temperature. Because the Aspen High Seas will perform calculations, the chemical engineering calculations that is available in the internet, on Google, and in the textbooks. However, there is a alert. This kind of calculation will only be uh, correctly if you are dealing with gases, or at least I did the verification with methane and with water, and we can see the results right now. So you can see in my stream a uh, valve that it can be a control valve where I have a stream in and a stream out. If I do a double click in this valve, I will get into a submenu where I have more options or information available. So to start with the calculations of the control valve, first you need to set what is the composition of the stream. So in this case, I set as 100% methane. And we need to add the conditions. So once I add the conditions upstream and, uh, and some of the conditions downstream, the Aspen High Seas do the calculations from left to right and right to left. So in this way, I just added some handle values here to verify the results. If I have my methane at 25 Celsius degree and 150 bar, and if I have a depressurization for 5 bar, it will lead to a uh, downstream temperature of minus 42.660 Celsius degree. So you can see here in the mole enthalpy, kilocal per kilogram mole, my enthalpy in the inlet is the same enthalpy at the outlet. So if I delete the information of pressure in the upstream condition, I need to lead with this value here or this value here. So let's delete the 150. If I add minus 42 dash or comma 60, Aspen High Seas will give to me the upstream pressure at 150. Another way to do that is to have the molar enthalpy in the outlet conditions. So if I copy this one, and I delete this information of pressure and I add the information of molar enthalpy. So if I add the information of molar enthalpy, the Aspen High Seas will do the calculation of the outlet temperature and the inlet pressure. If I change my composition from uh, methane to another component, it will work. Let's verify. So I will delete this and now I, change, I will change my composition. Let's verify another gas instead of, of methane. I will try with nitrogen and now let's do the same thing. So when I return to conditions, I can use the 150 bar G. So I get 3,039. I will copy this one. You can see that in the molar enthalpy is the same inlet and outlet. And when I delete the information of upstream pressure, 
if I add the information of temperature, I get the same result. So all of this is based on the, uh, the in the theory that for this kind of object in the ice analysis, it is doing a isn't isn't depressurization, and because of that, the entropy going in is the same entropy going out. So if I change my composition to a liquid, for instance, in this case, I have a water here. Let me add water as 100%. Will this verification uh, continue to work? Let's verify. So if I add 100 bar to 5 bar, first thing to observe is that the calculations performed for Aspen High Seas is that I increase the temperature of my fluid. And if I copy this formation and delete the pressure and return with the downstream temperature, the calculations is a mess because now I am not dealing with gases, I am dealing with water. So to have the specific uh, answer why now it's not go, uh, doing good if, because it's not performing well the calculations you must verify with in test books I don't like to deal with academic issues because I am not a teacher I am not a academic teacher so there are some some things that I prefer to not give my opinion but to go to straight to the point it is possible to do the calculation of uh, upstream pressure in a valve if I have the upstream temperature, downstream pressure and downstream temperature. Yes, it's possible if you are dealing with gases. If you are dealing with liquids, uh, you, as you have seen in the video, it's, the calculation will not be good. So guys, this is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.